In our last film, our first guest played an ice pick wielding, skirt lifting bisexual exhibitionist. <laughs> but in her new film, a Sliver, she just plays an exhibitionist. <laughs> so fasten your seatbelts, kids. Here she is once again, Sharon Stone. Sharon. <laughs> You look wonderful. Thank you. You look, you look pretty cute yourself. Well, that's very nice of you to say. Thank you very much. But you look very, very elegant, very uh, cool, you. very uh, sophisticated, very nice to have you. <laughs> I have a couple of things I want to chat with you about. Do you mind? Let's chat about a couple of things. Let's chat, shall we? Uh, first of all, I understand, uh, are you getting married? Are you married? Have you... I'm engaged. You're engaged. Congratulations. That's very nice to you. That's lovely. I've always wanted an engagement ring simply so I could run around going... <laughs> Does it make you feel any different about yourself knowing that you're engaged? Yes, well, my days of senseless pining for you are over. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, apparently your ears are engaged as well. Look, look at that. My oh, goodness. Just a little trinket. <laughs> yes, sir. -y. Who, uh, what can you tell us about the, have you been married before? I'm afraid I can't say. Yes, I was married before. Married before. How long were you married the first time? Oh, five minutes. Now, now. Okay, ten minutes. <laughs> That's it, Dave. You were married for ten minutes. <laughs> All right. Don't make me do this. Don't make you do what? Because, you know, we can go downtown and look it up. He got all the airtime he deserved already. Really? That's right. So you were married. See, I don't know this. Yes, How, I was well, married. Just, can you give me you were married like a, a year or two I years? I was married for two and a half years. Okay, there you go. So there's nothing wrong with that. I was married. Listen to this. You want to hear? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, at, least, at least she's I a pretty good sport about it. I know the rest of divorce people just love your ex-spouses. <laughs> no, well, this, so, some work out, some don't work out. But I was just trying to get the details here. <laughs> Uh, so now, been I was married once, and listen to this, For I was how long? 10 years. And do you have children? No, I have no children. See, I'd hope maybe that we would have children. All right. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Uh, no, I mean, I thought we could have, you know, like, they're, they're paying me a lot, but not enough to stay under these circumstances. <laughs> We could have, you know, witty, charming kids with funny hair and little spaces between them. That'd be teeth. great, wouldn't it? It'd be very, very exciting. Um, so when are you getting married? I don't know. Yeah. All right, let's go on to another topic. <laughs> because I'm getting the feeling there's not much more here on this topic. All right, all right, that's all right. I'm not discouraged. Huh? Well, Take that first topic right off the list. <laughs> now, here's the other okay, thing good. I wanted to ask you about. We, yeah. have, some, we have some early, early... Simply an exhibitionist, Dave? What? <laughs> Have you ever seen the roof of the CBS building? <laughs> now, the other thing, we have some, uh, some film, some videotape... Oh, time of, to get serious. Of you, <laughs> no, no, of you uh, early on in show business. <laughs> This is, I thought this was very cute when I saw this this afternoon. What is it, David? It's you in a, uh, in a contest, some kind of a pageant. And you couldn't look cuter. You look well, sweet. Well, I was in the Miss Pennsylvania pageant. Are you from Pennsylvania? That's right. Well, that's good. The judges like that. <laughs> in fact. Yeah. All right, roll it, Hal. Here she is, Sharon Stone. Uh, okay. In the... Uh... Sharon Stone. Ah! I'm presently a sophomore at Edinburgh State College, majoring in art education. Thank you. There you go. I think that's nice. How old were you, like uh, about 19, 18 or 19? You know, this is going to come as a big surprise to you, but I lost. <laughs> really? Well, I thought I would have voted for you then. You looked great in that. You I would have gone out with you then, too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Boy, this is... this. <laughs> Tonight must be a very, very encouraging evening for your fiancé. <laughs> he's, he's just taking it in the air left and right here tonight, isn't he? Oh, gosh, yeah. He's great. Yeah, I know he is. Uh, so, 
Uh, we have other things to talk about. Well, then spit it out, Dave. Well, no, no, we have to do a commercial first. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, and you, uh, do, do me a favor. Yeah. While we're away, you think of things you might like to say here, too. Okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give you a little responsibility for this. Okay. This will be a little assignment for you. You think of, think of right. one amusing anecdote about yourself, and when you come back, you can tell it. Okay. All right, great. All right, Sharon Stone and I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Peter, Peter Gabriel? Is that what that is? Salisbury Hill. Yeah, Peter, Peter Gabriel. Gabriel. Yes. Exactly. Sharon Stone is here. Aaron Neville is here. David Richard Ford. Price. Yeah, no, I'm sorry about that. And for extra security, we got a guy on the roof, so don't worry about a thing. <laughs> uh, Sharon, let's talk about the... Uh, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> let's don't tell him when the show is finished. <laughs> um, let's talk about the movie, Sliver. Okay. Sliver. I look at it, and I, I keep wanting to say silver, but it's Sliver. Beats liver. Hey, that wouldn't have been a bad movie, huh? You work in a meat market. <laughs> Tell us about uh, Sliver. Me and a bunch of nude cows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Sliver is... Um, <laughs> Sliver is uh, um, coming out next Friday. All right. It's a movie I did with Tom Berenger and Billy Baldwin. Billy Baldwin is the uh, younger brother of Alec Baldwin. That's correct. One of uh, the top Hollywood hunks of the day, this That's kid. That's correct. Yeah, there you go. Did you, did you enjoy working? What, what is the plot here? Sliver, what is it? Uh, Sliver is a story about voyeurism. Uh -huh. um, and uh, my character is a book editor who moves into this new building. Right. And the whole building is wired. Every room in every apartment has a video camera. People observing every move you make. Someone yeah. is observing everybody. Great deal of gratuitous nudity, I would guess. I would say tons yeah. of mm -hmm. gratuitous nudity. <laughs> gratuitous sex, gratuitous do you mind, do you violence, mind, do you, all your personal favorites. Do you, <laughs> do you mind being naked uh, in movies? Not when I know you're going to see them, Dave. Wow! <laughs> But I'm not really too much nudity in, in this, this film. Oh, I can't put a sentence together. Thank God I can take the clothes off. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see somebody call a spade a spade, isn't it? <laughs> um, and now, what are you doing in New York? Are you here just to talk about the film? Are you doing other things? Uh, um, I am here to do press junket for the picture, but I've been doing a lot of things. I went to. Um, uh, National Democratic uh, dinner party. A dinner party for with the Democrats? For who, the president. Who was there? Was the president the there? The president himself, himself uh -huh. was there. Do you yeah. know President Clinton? Well, I don't know him, know him. I would say that we are acquaintances right. at this time. Do you chat with him when you see him? I Maybe chat I with him. What do you him? talk about, you and the president? I can't say, Dave. What do you mean you can't say? Well, you know. National security? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you talk to him about? Well, you know, it's not foreign policy, Dave. Now, what are you suggesting exactly? Because, because the inference could be... What am I be... suggesting? Yeah. I mean... mm -hmm. So, the last, the last time you talked to President Clinton, what did he say? He said, I have to go talk to some guys at the next table who gave a lot of money to my campaign. And I said, great, I'm going to a Knicks game. I'll yeah. see you. There you go. Yeah. Okay, great. And the game was great. Yeah, oh, you went to the game, you enjoyed it the game? It was so great. It was so great. New York is great. I mean... Everything is bigger, everything is more exciting, everything is more dynamic. You know, I don't think people understand this, but the cabs in New York City, you mentioned a good point, are twice the size of cabs anywhere else in the world. <laughs> they just look like regular cars. I know, but they're and nearly, then you get in. They're the size of Greyhound buses. It's true. You put Jacuzzi, a New York City cab next to a Chicago cab, and they, they dwarf them. <laughs> All right, uh, Sharon, it's time for you to move along. What are you doing tonight? What's on your agenda? I thought we had a date. Oh, stop this. I, I have to jump on a plane and go to California. You, you want to do? Go? For yeah. what? A business. Bidness. <laughs> I got, I got some right. business I'm doing in California. You know. I'm going on a date with my fiancé. Oh, congratulations. And please, uh, as always, uh, give him my best. <laughs> Thank you. Buona sera. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, the film, when does it open up? It opens up next Friday. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sharon Stone, we'll be right back. Fantasy, Earth, Wind, Earth, wind and, and Fire. Fire. Perfect for this time of night. Kind of exciting, kind of mysterious, sort of melodic. Very, yes. very nice. Sharon Stone, what's the deal? What did I do wrong there? She uh, was. Uh, she looked great. Yeah, I know. 
Like we used to say in the Marine Corps, she was easy on the eyes. Yeah, and the chemistry yeah. between you kids is electric. <laughs> yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's just, that's right. It, everything was a cul-de-sac. You couldn't, couldn't really get nothing going. But uh, hey, who cares?